Hey guys, it's Nate Jackson, and we're back with the next tutorial. Okay, so we've we found groups to join. We've joined those groups. We've created a do not post list of the groups that we don't want to post to. And so now we're at the point where we can start posting to groups. So to do that, you go to the communicate module, and we have timing settings here that are very similar to the timing settings on the party crasher module. So you can go to the Party Crasher video to learn how the timing settings work. But when we want to actually start uh, creating content and sharing it on Facebook, you want to click the green button that says Enter Your Content. And now here is where we have three different modules. Well, actually three and a half. You can call it four. Because we can post to groups here with the Post Perfect module, which is the same as the Post Perfect we had in version uh, 1.0 and higher. But now we've added the ability to send direct messages using the message wizard. Uh, we have a post bump feature where you can go to the groups that you currently have posts and bump them so that they're back at the top of the news feed. We have the ability to add friends uh, with friend genie that you use that in conjunction with the message wizard and what it does it, it it adds friends just like it says and we also have the ability to turn off this is you can turn off group notifications while you're posting or bumping posts so that you don't see so many of the notifications pop up over here as you join more and more groups so the first uh, module that we're going to go through is the post perfect module and it's very it's very similar to uh, version 1.0 nothing much has changed so you click the uh, button for post perfect which is the this button here and then you can post to just a regular discussion or you can post to the buy sell trade groups by clicking the te the text box the check box here so we're going to show you how to do a regular po well now I'll show you how to do a buy sell trade group and it actually if you fill in the info for the buy sell trade group it'll actually uh it's smart enough to know when you're in a buy sell trade group to post that content and when it's not in a buy sell trade group it'll just post your regular text from the box here so we're going to say we're selling fb virtual assistant uh we're going to select a category and usually you don't need that but some accounts do have an option to select a category so we're going to put computers and electronics and we're going to put a zip code and then I have actually a file uh, with some text, a text file that I'm going to copy and paste in here. And if you're going to copy and paste uh, into the text box, then you need to have it stored in a text text file and not a Word document because Word documents sometimes give it problems because of formatting that uh, because of formatting that uh, makes it kind of difficult to actually get the information. Where is my... Okay, we're going to the FBVA folder. Uh, documents, FBVA. And we'll go to the file, groups, post content. And so I have information in this file here. And... Okay, and so I have information in this file here. And you can... I'll show you how to uh, spin your context content I'll show you how to do that in another video because I want to keep these videos short so I'm going to copy my information from this file and I'm going to post it right click and just click paste in the in the text box and so now I have my content ready to go I'm going to add a photo from I have a photo here and I'm going to choose a group list so I'm going to choose I'm going to go to groups and then my groups and pick my groups and then I'm going to click a do not post list and I'm going to add my do not post list that I created from the preview feature and so now we're going to just click the post button and it's going to go to each group and uh, on a schedule that we have so it's going to say uh, Post Perfect will continue in a new browser. Please make sure Chrome is installed on your computer. So, just like it says, you have to make sure you have the Google Chrome browser installed on your computer. So, you click OK. And it's going to... Let me close some of this down. Close that. Close that. 
So it's going to log out of this browser and then log into a Chrome browser. So just let it do its thing. You just, uh, it's going to log out and then it's going to open a separate browser. Let's give it a second. Here it is. So it's opening a new browser. Let's pull that up a little bit. Pull this up here. So everything is visible. So now it's logging into uh, Facebook from a, a Chrome browser, and it you see the way it's typing it, it it really keeps everything at a doing everything at a human pace so that it doesn't look robotic and it doesn't uh, it, it just makes it a lot more more realistic. So we're going to just watch it post and it's going to do everything for you it's going to input all of the content that we put in the since this is not a buy sell trade group it's going to just put the information that's in this box and not all of the pricing and information pricing and categories and things but if it encounters a buy sell trade group then it's going to put that information in for you so you can we'll go back here and now it's uploading the photo that we added and you can upload both photos and video so regardless of which file type you just use it actually i guess i need to change the button so you can upload photos or videos it just uploaded the photo and it's going to just type out everything that is in our is in our text box so and it's there it goes it's typing it letter by letter just like you would normally and it's doing it at a human rate uh so it it ver it's very good at doing th doing the activities in a in a timely in a fashion that is at a normal human rate so i'm going to let that complete it's going to click the post button and it's going to go on to the next group so i'll go ahead and just fast forward through this and we'll see what we get And one thing to keep in mind is that even though you're posting to groups, some groups still will not approve your post until an admin has reviewed it. So sometimes you'll see your posts show up. Sometimes they are going to be pending waiting for admin approval. That's the same as if you were doing it manually. So I just want to make sure that you're, you understand that. okay and here it is so it just posted my you see just now it just posted to the group and it's on it's going to start a break i set it for 30 seconds just to for the purpose of this video but it just i still recommend you start with the defaults or even slower than that so uh you'll see here it's going to start counting down in a second and then it's going to go to the next group So it's counting down 27, 26. Once it gets to zero, then it's going to go to the next group. And that's how the poster works. So it does all that for you, types it all out, does it at a nice human, humanly possible rate. It's not looking computerized at all. We're in a regular Google Chrome browser. So it's very, very automated, but very human at the same time three two one and it's going to the next group there we go and it's going to start and this is actually a buy sell trade group which is great so i'll show you i'll let you go we'll go ahead and uh, look at that one since this one is a buy sell trade group so it's putting the now it's putting the title of what we put in Go to edit your content. So it's putting all this information instead of just doing what's down in the box. So it can handle either type of group. You don't have to make separate posts. If you are posting to one that's not a buy sell trade group, it'll it'll just put what's in the discussion box. If you are in a buy sell trade group, it'll put everything. So It's uploading the photo, and it's going to start typing out the text. And since I am spinning my content 
which if you're not familiar with what spinning content means is that each time it's rot rotating through a different a, a series of optional ways to type out the post so each post is going to be different from the previous post in all likelihood so it kind of randomizes it and it types at a at a very human rate so it's it's very very humanized way of automating your group posting to Facebook so we'll go ahead and let this one post and then we'll go on to the next feature I think after this one we'll go to the post bump yeah that's the the most likely yeah that's the best uh, feature to show you and I'll also show you how to turn off notifications so that you don't get hundreds of notifications every day because you're going to be in so many groups One thing I want to mention about FB Virtual Assistant and how it's different from uh, other software that you may encounter, there's no FB, many other software out there will only allow you to post to groups that are classified, have, have a privacy of setting of open, which some of the, the best groups and most populated groups are the closed groups. Well, FBVA will find all those groups, they'll join all those groups, and it'll post to those groups so you can post to a lot more groups with FB virtual assistant than you can with some of the other software so if you're looking at software to automate your group posting make sure that whatever you decide you're using can post to closed groups so that's that's something that you want to always have in your decision process can it post to only open groups or can it post to open closed and secret groups because FB virtual assistant can do all three can also post photos and videos a lot of software out there from speaking with my customers uh, don't post videos and FBVA can bump posts do messaging do friend adding so it's not you wouldn't you can't really call this just a group poster which a lot of a lot of software out there focuses on on group posting but we also handle interactions for you in the form of adding friends as well as sending messages so just a few things to think about when you're making a decision on what you want to go with and there are some people who think that soft the software should post to as many groups as possible as fast as possible even if it's not humanly possible and that's just a quick way to get your account uh, restricted by Facebook you want to make sure that you're doing things, you're automating them, but you're automating them a, in a way that seems human. Because this, the software is designed to be a, an autopilot, but it's not designed to be a, a turbo boost. It's not designed to be something that makes it superhuman because Facebook doesn't really like robots on their site so we have to do this in a manner that doesn't look robotic at all which is why I put the ability to spin your your text as well as typing it out in a, in a human fashion and taking breaks between each activity so just keep that in mind I'm not gonna give a guarantee because I as far as keeping you out of Facebook jail, if anybody says they're going to give you a guarantee that they're going to keep you out of Facebook jail, just run away from them because nobody can guarantee that. For one, I can't guarantee that you're going to be posting in the groups that you're supposed to with the content that you're posting. I can't guarantee that. So I can't guarantee that someone's not going to report you or report you to an admin for spamming their group. I'm not going to I can't guarantee that you're going to use timing settings that are uh, top that Facebook will tolerate. So I can't guarantee that you're going to be kept out of Facebook jail because I can't guarantee what you're going to use the software for. But if you just put some time into thinking about what seems realistic for someone to be doing with their group posting and you make sure that the content that you're posting is in alignment with the groups that you're posting to then you give yourself a huge advantage to posting manually and you're you're keeping yourself on the safe side of 
not of getting your not getting your account restricted. So you have the responsibility to use the, the software in a manner that is as responsible as you would use Facebook if you weren't using software. So you can't just start spamming your whatever you're selling to a bunch of groups that, without w indiscriminately. You have to think about where you're posting. You have to think about what you're posting and you have to think about how frequently you're going to post. If all of those three line up, make sense, and seem like something uh, you uh, you would do without software, then you're gonna have a, you give yourself the best chance of, of staying safe. So that's it, we just posted to another group, and this is a buy, sell, trade group, so it shows the price, shows the location, shows everything that you would see in a buy, sell, trade group post. And it's going to go on to the next group, but I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. I'm going to show you how to bump your posts. So I'll see you in the next video.